TiVo3 was a phase three trial of tavozinib versus serafinib. These drugs have been compared in a frontline setting in a trial called TiVo1 now many years ago. And what was seen in that trial was advantages to tavozinib in response rate and progression-free survival, but it looked like this, that the overall survival may be favored serafinib. And it was for that reason the drug was not approved in the U.S., ultimately got approved in Europe many years later. But in order to um, look at this, this comparison again, they did this TiVo3 trial in refractory kidney cancer. So patients with metastatic kidney cancer who had had two or three prior regimens, mostly VEGF agents or prior immunotherapy, were randomized one-to-one -to, -one to receive tavozinib or serafinib. And they were followed for progression standard on a phase three trial. And what it showed was that tavozinib led to significant progression-free survival advantage compared to serafinib. Nearly six month progression-free survival compared to about four months with serafinib. There was also a response rate advantage of 18 versus 8%. Uh, overall survival is still immature. We will report um, data at the meeting, but it was still immature and that'll be followed up further with an analysis later this year. Um, I think two other things are impressive. One is that the durability of responses to tavozinib were quite unusual for a TKI. TKIs can produce high responses, but they're often short-lived. And um, if you look at the curves and the data and the durability of response, they appear to be quite durable with tavozinib. Some of that might be linked to my second comment, which is that the drug is really well tolerated. I think it's the best tolerated TKI, which may make it in the future a good partner for immune combinations. But even given by itself, it's... Um, uh, most, of its tar most of its toxicity is on target, high blood pressure, dysphonia, things like that, as opposed to serafinib, which is a dirtier drug and leads to rash and diarrhea and fatigue and hand foot syndrome and the like. And so it's, it's a really clean, well-tolerated drug, and for the subset of patients who respond, they can do so for quite a long time.